Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. So it is a little before seven. I've actually been up for a little bit. There were some emails I wanted to get out, some things I wanted to do for work to be ahead of the game. Today is going to be pretty low key. I just have a couple other tasks, a couple emails to draft for when we come back next year. That's so nice to say. And then at 10 o'clock, we're gonna do some gingerbread building together on Zoom and do like our own version of gingerbread wars. And then, yeah. By like 12.30ish, I'm gonna wrap up and put up my away message and start a much deserved break. <laughs> um, I'm making some coffee right now. I have some laundry going. <laughs> when I actually like say that, like by seven, it's not even 7 a.m. and I've like done work, answered emails, making coffee, doing laundry, like all the things. It makes me understand why I get so much done in a day. But, going to have this coffee, just gonna chill. Bubba's is on the couch. Steven is up in bed, still sleeping. See you in a little bit. So, it's almost 10 o'clock. We're doing a PJ party, so I have my Hannah Anderson candy cane pajamas on. I did have to do an Instacart order this morning. That just came. So, I think I have time to get this all carried in. and put away. So I use these bins in my pantry. I'll show you guys how I organize. I don't typically keep a ton of things in their original packaging. Some I do, I guess. But everything is contained to some sort of bin for organizational sake. So I keep like loose produce there, baking flowers in that bin. This is all just like baking supplies, bread, crackers, this is like some overflow baking mixes and breakfast items. Then these are just grab and go snacks for lunches. Up there I keep some canisters of things, cereals, nuts. All my pastas are here, canned goods, stocks and grains for like rice and things. Soups and peanut butter are there. They shouldn't be together, but I had ran out of space. That's how I organize all this. So our team just finished our 2020 Gingerbread Wars pajama party. And I'm in the final nine. We're doing a Google Doc and voting, but I'll show you my gingerbread house. This is how mine turned out. It looks so cute. I'm really happy with it. I also got a package. I had sent mine out, as you guys saw. I had wrapped all my gifts for my bestie Rebecca in Texas, and she delivered mine today. So I'm gonna get these unwrapped, but her and I are not opening until Christmas morning, so. I'm just gonna look at them. She has completely lost her mind. She also said I'm not allowed to read any of the tags until Christmas morning, so I love her. Also, I love this black and white stripe paired with the Christmas paper. She's amazing. Everything she does is amazing. Her cookies, her friendship, Everything she does is incredible. All right, friends, so one thing I wanna get a jump on today, I do have some more work that I have to finish, but I wanna get some oranges dried. So I have my oven as low as it can go. My oven only goes down to 200. I might even leave it cracked a little bit, but I'm just going to do a half hour at a time and just continue to flip these over and dry them out. I did put some parchment paper down. The most important thing is to get your slices as evenly cut as possible. So I'm just gonna take my time, that one's a little thick just as I say that, and just slice all my oranges. And as I slice them, I'm just going to lay them on this paper towel to get any liquid I can possibly get off. I have all my oranges sliced. I just have layers of paper towel in between. I threw my cutting board just for a little weight. And I'm just gonna let these sit for about 30 minutes for the paper towel to absorb any extra liquid I can get off of them before I put them on the baking sheet. I have my orange slices arranged. This will be an all day event, probably 
I'm gonna say anywhere between three to three and a half hours, and I'm just gonna flip them every 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna always set a timer. And yeah, and I also don't know if this will be enough for my wreath, so I might have to buy another bag of oranges and dry another set. All right, we're gonna throw them in the oven every 30 minutes, I'm gonna flip them over. It's the first half hour, and I'm just going to do a flip. And the thing is to just not rush this and just take your time and keep an eye on them and do the best you can. Some will turn out beautiful, others will look rough. You put those ones in the back. It's one o'clock right now. I'm gonna finish up my last couple emails and then just keep flipping them every half hour and, and I should be all set to go on break at 1.30. I can't wait. All right, friends, I'm gonna kick off my break with one of my L.E.K. Lek Fit workouts. I love them. And I'm actually gonna play Taylor Swift's Evermore over it. And then that's handy because I work out right here at the end of the kitchen island and I can just keep setting the timer for 30 minutes while still multitasking and getting lots of things done. And actually it's time to flip them again. So I'm gonna flip them, set my timer for 30 minutes again and get my workout going. The light fixture for the bathroom came and it is beautiful. I absolutely love it. I love the gold, I love the black. I think I'm gonna try all of that this weekend. The oranges are still in the oven. I've done oh, probably an hour and a half of 30 minute intervals and now I'm in a, I, then I did 40 minutes and I'm now into another 40 minutes. So it's taking a little bit longer, but I'd rather them look really good and just take our time with it. I have a timer going, I still have 11 more minutes left on it and then we'll flip them again and I'll let you, make sure that you guys see where we're at. They're keeping their color really nicely, which is making me very happy. I just don't want them to get too dark. Oh my gosh, Jessica at Kit Life Planners sent me wine for Christmas. Oh, thank God. From Dry Farm Wines. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jessica. This is like the kindest thing. I am in stromboli mode. I just split my dough in half after it's been rising. I have all of my things over here. Steven will not like anything fancy in his. I'm gonna also leave the recipe I used for my dough, because I know that will be super helpful to all of you as well. So I'm just going to do one at a time and get them on my baking sheet. So I just have like a little light flour on my board. This dough seems really nice to work with. And it's ro uh, it's rolling like a dream. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put some sauce down for Steven. I'm gonna do some pepperoni for him. He like like I said, he is a super simple person. And then I'm gonna tear off. I just washed all this basil. I'm gonna put some of this basil on his. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna fold up corners first, and then fold this over. So Steven is cleaning up while I am checking the stromboli. They're actually, <laughs> excuse you. They're actually looking really good. I also pulled out the oranges because they had a good color and I didn't want them to go any longer. I am gonna let them sit out for a day or two and just completely dry out before we use them for anything. Five more minutes for the stromboli and then we'll see how they look. Hopefully they are done. While we have the time, we might as well open some advent calendars. Ah, uh, it's a tall blue house. We got a honey and oat scrub bar. We got amber, mandarin, and sandalwood hand wash. Amazing. All right, let's go check out our other ones. Pour some sugar on me. Oh, I've never had, these are new. These have never been in the Sugar Fina calendar. Gold pearls, I think they have chocolate in them. Ooh, another really, really cute present. So it's another present and it's the apple spice. Hi, 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 what, what? He wants his. Uh, he ate his dinner. Go yeah. see daddy. Oh. Ooh. Day 18. Did 
Are we all caught up? He is all caught up. It's right here. Oh, another red one. Oh, let me add it. There you go. I need it right here. Make a he mess. Yes. All right, 10 seconds left. Let's see how these turned Ooh. out. Oh my. Do they explode? No, but they look pretty good. They do. You just have to be careful because you'll burn the roof of your mouth. Um, we have to let them cool. Yeah. I don't know, maybe they should go a little. No, they're perfect. I mean, I could have shaped them better. That one's Steven's, I can tell now, because I folded your end up better. Oh. And this one's mine. I'm proud of those. those All right, nice. we're gonna have dinner, then we'll catch up. Mm -hmm. So we have a fire going. Bubba's just cuddled up on the couch with me. Yes, you love the camera. Oh yes, it's good lighting. Yes, oh so, you're so pretty and handsome. You don't look a day over 60. Uh -huh. That's funny because I'm in my 70s. He's in his 80s. You look very good for 80 something. Hey, I'd like the name of your doctor. You know the name of his vet. Ooh, so pretty. Who's a pretty boy. Hey. Hey. Who's a pretty boy. Who's so pretty. Who's so pretty. Strombolis, how were they? They were excellent. I did a good job. My dough was perfect. All right, friends, tomorrow starts the day where all I'm doing is Vlogmas from now until the end of it, which it's crazy to me how quickly we're approaching the end. But I'm gonna end this like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.